you ever try a new food that you've never heard of or seen before in your life and you taste it and think, wow, this is amazing. How have I gone this long without this deliciousness in my life? And of course, you try to justify it to yourself by saying things like, this must just be a new food type or maybe someone just discovered this recently. And then when you're reading the Wikipedia page on it later, you find out it's actually been eaten by humans since we were hunting saber toothed tigers and squatting in caves. Yeah, that's Iron Wolf VR for all intents and purposes, because this game has been out since 2017, and somehow, some way, over a year after getting into VR and over four years since this game's released, I am just now finding out about this for some reason. So basically, Sol and I were cruising for a team-oriented, co-op style VR game to play, and we came across Steel Crew, which is a desktop game that has VR support, which of course isn't always promising, but we tried giving it a shot and regretted it deeply. I might still make a video on that at some point, but for now, you'll just have to take my word for how bad it really was. Then Soul's friend Birdo mentions this submarine game called Iron Wolf VR, and we figured we might as well. We had nothing else to lose after the dumpster fire that was Steel Crew. And I don't know how to explain what Iron Wolf is exactly like. I never thought that I would be equally excited and scared to play a game at the same time. I also never thought that I would develop claustrophobia, but well, <laughs> you know, this game has a great way of making you feel like you are a sardine packed into a tin can. Now for the record, I would never play this by myself, first of all, because, well, you really can't. Each player has a role to play in the submarines, and one person simply can't do all of the jobs effectively. There's no official structure to the roles, so players can swing in and out of roles as needed, and they're definitely interchangeable. But someone always has to be doing something. That's the focus of this game. By team-oriented, it means more, well, Basically, it means work together or die together. That's what it boils down to. If you work together well as a team, you'll complete your mission objectives. If not, well... Bomb our uh, torpedoes. Torpedoes, right? About to get hit. Three, two, one. Impact on my rear. I would also like to mention that I think this game serves as an excellent option for horror games. Even though horror is obviously not the intent of it, but there really is nothing quite like the sound of stress pressure on a submarine when you've gone too deep and you know it's only a matter of time before you are crushed by the sheer weight of the ocean surrounding you. Thank god this isn't like Barotrauma where you're trying to fend off horrific alien-like creatures at the same time because I gotta be honest, I, I don't know that I could. I couldn't even, let's just put it that way. I'd have to replace all the pants in my closet because they'd all get soiled so quickly. Still, there is an unnerving feeling to the silence experienced inside a fully submerged ship. Aside from that, the meat and potatoes of this game is such a fun and awesome way to experience a true co-op VR experience. It's not just friends working together towards a common goal, it's friends relying on each other for survival. And it's a really great way to strengthen your camaraderie with one another. The whole game is an experience underneath the water as well, so there are plenty of opportunities to catch a breath of fresh air. Lob some 85mm artillery shells at faraway oil rigs, you know, commit some war crimes against merchant vessels, or get strafed by your favorite selection of World War II era fighter airplanes. If you're going to play this, I absolutely recommend playing the tutorial first and completing it in its entirety. I know, I know, I can hear you groaning from here. Look, I'll be honest with you, I despise tutorials. I have ADD and I don't have the attention span for tutorials in general. I usually learn best by just doing the stuff I'm supposed to do. But trust me, focus as hard as you can on it, soak up as much as you can before you try a real mission because this game is not easy. It will punish you severely for not knowing how to do stuff and you will turn the game into a speed run of how to sink to the bottom of the ocean. But like always, practice makes perfect. The game doesn't just throw you to the lions immediately. It gives you a series of missions that progressively get more and more difficult. Learning how to think critically in stressful situations will be a massive boon to you and your team as you progress, and keeping calm and communicating is always the best way to handle the challenges thrown at you. Which I totally did the whole time, for sure. Yeah. Yes, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's dive bombing. He's dive bombing. No, he's down. He's dead. I don't know. I got him. Dude. Again, this is the kind of game you can only play with 
people. So make sure you and your friends are on the same page when you get this, but man, when it's going good and you and the crew are vibing at 15 meters down, launching torpedoes at helpless merchant vessels and casually committing war crimes, this game is the most satisfying. You know, it makes you feel larger than life in a way, if that makes sense, like you're working towards something bigger than just yourself. Working in tandem with others to accomplish a common goal and seeing the fruits of the seeds you've sowed blossom into completed mission objectives is incredibly satisfying. Definite 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's totally not addictive at all though. Totally not addictive, I swear. What would I lie to you? Of course I wouldn't lie to you. I'm I'm an absolutely honest and truthful and completely ethical and totally not shameless content creator on the internet. Would a content creator lie to you just to get people to watch his video? <laughs> I mean, maybe, but uh, I definitely wouldn't. Uh, uh-uh. No, absolutely not. I am uh, way more ethical than that, for sure. <laughs> anyway... Yeah, so this game has apparently aged like a fine wine, because four years later, it's obviously still relevant and criminally underrated in my opinion. For team-based or oriented VR co-op games, this is honestly going to probably be one of my go-tos for a while. I still have mad love for games like Onward, but you know, just because pizza is amazing and delicious doesn't mean you want to have it for dinner every single night for the rest of your life. Okay, before someone goes, actually, I know, I know, I'm sure someone would, absolutely do that, but I'm just saying it as a metaphor. Just because you can eat pizza every night for dinner doesn't mean you necessarily want to. You want to change your pace every now and again, and Iron Wolf VR is a very welcome change of pace. Anyways, that's all I got for you today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and punch that notification bell because it's a really, really easy free way to help support the channel while also making sure that you won't miss any more of my future videos. As always, be sure to leave a comment down below because I'm always interested in hearing the burning thoughts of my viewers. Have you played Iron Wolf? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you interested in playing it at all? Tell me in the comment section down below. And finally, I know, I know, it's almost over. We're almost through this. I do have a Patreon set up for anyone who has the means or ability to show some love for the work that I do. It's not required, and obviously don't pledge if you don't have the money. It doesn't really get you a whole lot extra just some minor benefits in the Discord. It's more just a tip jar and a good way to help support my goal to bring the love of virtual reality technology to smiling faces all across the world. I'm also working on setting up memberships, so that will be available soon as well, if that's more your speed. Thanks for hanging in there, everyone. I'm gonna get out of here. I've got a submarine to pilot. I love each and every one of you beautiful father muckers. Gramsy out.